effective evening skincare routine. 1. Makeup Remover Remove your makeup with a gentle, oil-based cleanser or micellar water. 2. Cleanser Cleanse your face with a gentle cleanser to remove any remaining dirt and oil. 3. Retinol Apply a retinol serum to stimulate collagen production and reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. 4. Moisturizer Apply a heavier moisturizer to hydrate and nourish your skin while you sleep. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe for more. A face massage can improve circulation and lymphatic drainage, which may help reduce puffiness and promote a brighter complexion. It may also help to relax facial muscles and relieve tension, which can alleviate headaches and improve overall relaxation. By stimulating the production of collagen and elastin, a facial massage can help to improve skin texture and firmness over time. Finally, taking the time to give yourself a facial massage can be a great way to practice self-care and promote a sense of well-being. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe for more. Everyone wants beautiful skin. Smooth, resilient, lustrous, yum. But is it really possible for all of us to achieve that amazing glass skin look? What's the big secret that only some people seem to know? Time to investigate. If there really is a secret to amazing skin, I intend to find it. But I quickly came across the first hurdle. Everybody's skin is different, so of course, there is no one-size-fits-all skincare routine. I realize we all need a tailor-made routine that's right for our particular skin. Unless you're a dermatologist, you're gonna need careful guidance to find the right routine for your skin. Okay, the first thing you need to do is identify your particular skin type. What are you working with? Dry skin, oily skin, or maybe neutral? Are you coping with pimples or wrinkles? The good news is that you really only need three essential types of skincare products. Let's repeat that. You really only need three. Step one is to get rid of any oil and dirt. So we're starting with a clean canvas, super important. Experts typically advise cleansing your face twice daily with slightly warm water, followed by a rinse with cold water. If you are wearing makeup, use an oil-based cleanser to dissolve cosmetics, followed by a water-based cleanser to finish the job. Be careful not to over-cleanse, as it can lead to dryness and irritation. Avoid excessive scrubbing, strong cleansers with sulfates, or rinsing with hot water, as they can all strip away your skin's natural oils, leaving it parched and flaky. Not a good look. Next. Let's get to moisturizing your skin. You absolutely have to hydrate it to prevent dryness and inflammation. An ideal moisturizer should be lightweight, perfume-free, non-greasy, and should rehydrate your skin, leaving it plump and smooth. Look for ingredients such as ceramides, glycerin, and hyaluronic acid. The third and probably the most crucial step is the application of sunscreen. Prolonged exposure to UV light without protection can result in wrinkles, dark spots, and even DNA damage that may lead to skin cancer. Yikes! Be sure to use a sunscreen with a minimum SPF of 30, preferably higher, that feels comfortable on your skin. Work it well in so you don't end up looking like a geisha. We love geisha, but that's not the look we're shooting for here. Remember, skin damage from the sun can occur even without visible burning. So that's the mighty trinity of skincare. Cleanse, moisturize, and use sunscreen. And if you want to step up your skincare game, consider using a retinoid. Not everyone's gonna need this, but it can noticeably rejuvenate your skin, making it appear younger, smoother, and healthier. And who doesn't want that? Following the three basic steps should give most people clear skin. And when I say following, I mean every single day. Nobody said this was going to be easy. However, your skincare routine may require additional elements, depending on your specific skin type. For dry skin, consider using a hydrating moisturizer, toner, and serum to maximize moisture and nourishment, leaving your skin looking glossy and supple. For oily skin, you need products containing niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and retinol to regulate oil production, prevent pimple breakouts, and improve overall skin health.
If you struggle with acne, opt for ingredients like benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid, glycolic acid, and tretinoin. These components help unclog pores, prevent breakouts, and reduce the formation of blackheads. Yuck! Be careful not to scrub at your face or use super harsh chemicals on your skin. Always go for gentle, smooth cleansers. Don't touch your face. That spreads nasty bacteria and resist the temptation to wash your face too much as well. Lastly, and I cannot stress this enough, do not squish your spots. For wrinkles, regular use of vitamin A compounds such as retinol, retinoic acid, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin C will noticeably reduce the look. Fabulous aloe vera is suitable for all skin types. Just buy a plant and you're good to go. It's mostly composed of water and it's rich in vitamins A, C, and E, serving as a potent antioxidant. Aloe vera also contains natural salicylic acid, which aids in preventing breakouts and helps to fade those pesky acne scars. Hyaluronic acid is another versatile ingredient suitable for all skin types. It swiftly hydrates the skin, giving it a plum and youthful appearance, while also reducing fine lines and promoting a smooth, supple complexion. Additionally, it boasts incredible anti-aging properties, noise. You should always bear in mind that when it comes to skincare, less is often more. You really don't need a multitude of products. Five at the absolute most is more than enough. Always start with low concentrations and gradually increase them. Starting with a high concentration product may irritate your skin and heighten sensitivity, and we do not want that. Although toners, essences, and serums are optional, they can elevate your skincare routine by delivering a concentrated blast of good nutrients and antioxidants. Serums in particular can enhance skin health, increase radiance, reduce fine lines, and even fade dark spots over time. However, let's get real people, a genuine transformation extends beyond applying products and rinsing them away. If you genuinely want to achieve radiant skin, you absolutely have to prioritize the following. Sleep for a minimum of 8 hours each night. Drink plenty of water every day. Sweat out those toxins. Stick to a healthy balanced diet. Be cool, don't let stress get to you. Granted, this can all be quite challenging, especially that last one, but it is essential. How bad do you want fabulous skin? One final thought. Many skin issues come from eating all that oh so delicious but oh so naughty fried food, junk food, and processed food generally. So improving your diet can be a significant step towards healthier skin. Be strong. I hope you enjoyed this journey with me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Until next time, stay stylish. Bye. Five.
Chemical sunscreens use UV-absorbing chemicals to protect the skin from the sun, while mineral sunscreens use natural minerals like zinc oxide and titanium dioxide to physically block UV rays. Mineral sunscreens are considered safe for daily use, while some chemical sunscreens have been linked to potential health risks, such as hormone disruption. Play it safe and only use mineral sunscreens. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe for more. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to share with you a health and beauty secret from the Southeast Asian country of Indonesia. We're all aware of the growth in popularity of health drinks, in the last few decades. Whether they're pre-packaged or freshly made, we just can't get enough of them and that's definitely a good thing. But you know what? In Indonesia, they've been drinking healthy tonic drinks made from natural ingredients for centuries. In Indonesia, they call those health-giving drinks, jamu. So, in this video, we'll be exploring the world of jamu, the traditional Indonesian herbal medicine drink that has been used for centuries by Indonesian women to improve their health, well-being, and beauty. Although it's more popular with women, jamu is also taken by men who can also enjoy its many health benefits. Jamu comes from the word, champi, which means healing using medicinal herbs, prayer, or magic, and the word is odo, which means health in the ancient Javanese language, chromo. Jamu is said to date back some 1,300 years, which is why there are base reliefs of Jamu drinking scenes carved into the walls of Borobudur Temple from the 8th century. A few decades ago, Jamu was seen as hopelessly old-fashioned, but now it's experiencing something of a revival. It was originally created by traditional healers who combined various herbs, spices, and roots to create tonics that could treat a wide range of health problems. Over time, these tonics became more refined, and the knowledge of how to make and use them was passed down through the generations. I think it's worth noting here that the value of Jamu in maintaining health and treating various ailments has stood the test of time. You could say it's been undergoing rigorous product testing for many centuries, not many health drinks can say the same. Today, jamu is an integral part of Indonesian culture and it's used by people from all walks of life to improve their health and well-being. It's particularly popular among women of course, who use it to help with everything from menstrual cramps to fertility issues. The many varieties of jamu are known for their many health benefits, which include boosting the immune system, improving digestion, reducing inflammation, and promoting overall wellness. It can be used to treat a wide range of health problems, including headaches, colds, and even chronic diseases like diabetes and hypertension. To use jamu, you typically mix a small amount of the tonic with water and drink it. The exact recipe will vary depending on the specific jamu you are using, but it will typically contain a mixture of herbs, spices, and roots. Raw jamu often has quite a bitter taste, but most people will add honey or palm sugar as a sweetener to make it more palatable. Jamu is typically made by traditional healers or herbalists who have extensive knowledge of the various herbs and spices that go into each recipe. It is traditionally made by grinding fresh herbs and spices into a paste using a mortar and pestle, adding water or coconut water to the mixture, and then boiling it to create a tonic. This tonic is then strained and can be consumed either warm or cold, depending on your personal preference. The exact ingredients and preparation methods can vary depending on the specific jamu being made. Some jamus may require additional cooking time, while others may require fermentation or other special preparation methods. In modern times, some jamu makers have adopted more efficient and standardized production methods. These may involve using machines to grind the herbs and spices and using standardized recipes to ensure consistency in taste and potency. 
Regardless of the preparation method used, the key to creating a high-quality jamu is using fresh, high-quality ingredients and carefully following the recipe to ensure the right balance of flavors and medicinal properties. In Indonesia, jamu is sold in many different forms, including pre-made tonics that you can buy at markets and health food stores, as well as fresh juices that are sold by street vendors. These street vendors are usually known as jamu gendong. Jamu gendong is homemade jamu packaged in bottles and arranged in a basket. The vendors would travel from house to house selling their jamu. They were very popular because of the delicious taste and freshness of their jamu, always freshly made. In Indonesia, almost everyone consumes jamu regularly to maintain their body's health. Before I continue, can I ask a small favor? Please hit that like button. Here are 8 of the most popular types of jamu to be found in Indonesia and a list of the benefits of each type. I should warn you that if you're interested in making jamu yourself, some of the ingredients may be unknown to you and will also be hard to find outside Southeast Asia. However, if you'd like to try them, there are ready-made, packet versions available of many types of jamu to order through the internet. 1. Jamu, Kunia Tassam, is made from turmeric and tamarind. This jamu is known for maintaining overall body fitness and relieving menstrual pain in women. It's also a natural anti-inflammatory that can help with everything from joint pain to skin problems. 2. Jamu, Baris Kencha, is made from raw rice and aromatic ginger, Kemphiria galanga, which are both known for their digestive benefits. It can help with bloating, indigestion, and other digestive issues. 3. Jamu, Chibepu Yang, is made from Javanese chili and bitter ginger. This jamu is useful for improving blood circulation, maintaining stamina and vitality. 4. Jamu, Pahitan, is made from bitter herbs like Sambaloto. It has a very bitter taste but is beneficial for preventing acne, body odor, and relieving skin itching. 5. Jamu, Kunchisuru, is made from betel leaves and temu kunchi. This jamu is useful for treating vaginal discharge in women, reducing stomach size, strengthening teeth, and preventing inflammation. 6. Jamu, galliansing set, is made from Dutch teak leaves, turmeric, and betel nuts. Its benefits include helping to maintain body weight and anti-obesity. This jamu is still used by the Surakarta Palace in central Java. 7. Jamu, Kudu Laos, has the benefit of lowering blood pressure and regulating menstrual cycles. Its main ingredients are noni fruit and galangal. 8. Jamu, Uyup, Uyup, or Gepyokon, is used to increase breast milk production in breastfeeding mothers. The ingredients include aromatic ginger, turmeric, ginger, timugiring, timulawak, and katu leaves. If you want to make this herbal tonic drink at home, there are two ways to do it. 1. From natural ingredients, prepare and clean the ingredients, boil water, add all the ingredients and cook until the water reduces, then strain. 2. From pre-packaged sachet powder sold in supermarkets or online. This method is very easy, as you only need to add hot water. If you are interested in trying jamu for the first time, let me give you three tips. First tip would be for people who are taking prescription medication, it's better to wait at least two hours after taking the medication before consuming the herbal tonic drink. Also, if you have any health concerns at all, be sure and consult with your doctor first before taking any health drink. Secondly, I would recommend starting with a simple jamu that is designed for overall wellness, such as Bereskentia and Chabe Puyang. These tonics are generally safe for most people and can help promote overall health and well-being. Finally, I would advise people to be patient and consistent with their use of jamu. No jamu will be a miracle cure. Give it plenty of time to work. Let it become a regular, healthy habit. It can take time to see the full benefits, and it's important to use the tonic regularly to get the most out of it. It's recommended to consume the herbal tonic drink every day before meals, but for those with sensitive stomachs, it's better to drink it after eating.
Well, hopefully you've found this info interesting and possibly useful. Remember, Indonesians have been taking Jammu for centuries and its benefits are real and proven, but it's not a miracle cure for anything. If you do decide to try it, be consistent and I'm confident you'll see great results. To make it as easy for you to try as possible, I've included links in the description and comments so you can buy and try Jammu yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Revitalize your skin naturally. 1. Hydrate from inside and outside by drinking plenty of water and applying hyaluronic acid. 2. Use serums containing antioxidants such as vitamin C and E. 3. Eat collagen boosting foods and collagen supplements. 4. Apply retinol or exfoliate regularly using alpha hydroxy acids. 5. Protect yourself from sun damage by wearing a hat and using SPF 50 plus sunblock. 6. Be sure and get enough sleep, at least 7 to 9 hours. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe for more. Say goodbye to sagging neck skin, the ultimate guide to a youthful neck. 1. Moisturize daily to keep skin plump and firm. 2. Exercise neck muscles to improve elasticity. 3. Practice good posture to prevent sagging. 4. Avoid looking down at phone or computer. 5. Get enough sleep for skin repair and regeneration. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe for more. Face serums contain high concentrations of ingredients that target specific skin blemishes. They have a lightweight texture that allows for deeper penetration into the skin. Regular use of a face serum can improve skin texture and overall appearance, resulting in a more youthful complexion. Face serums can be used alone or as a complement to other skincare products. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe for more. Here's a daily skincare routine that won't break the bank. 1. Cleanse with a gentle face wash. 2. Apply a hydrating toner. 3. Use a vitamin C serum for brightening. 4. Moisturize with a non-comedogenic cream. 5. Apply a broad-spectrum sunscreen at least SPF 50. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe for more. Hello everyone! In today's video, I'd like to talk about the best treatment for hyperpigmentation. Before we get into it, let me just explain what we mean by hyperpigmentation. Hyperpigmentation is a common skin condition characterized by dark patches or spots on the skin. It occurs when there is excessive production of melanin, the pigment responsible for giving color to the skin, hair, and eyes. Hyperpigmentation can affect people of all skin types, but it is more noticeable in individuals with darker skin tones. They already have more melanin than people with paler skin and so it can be very noticeable when their melanin production accelerates. There are several types of hyperpigmentation including 1. Melasma Melasma causes brown or grayish brown patches on the face, particularly on the cheeks, forehead, bridge of the nose, and upper lip. It is often associated with hormonal changes such as pregnancy or the use of birth control pills. 2. Post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation or PIH PIH occurs after inflammation or injury to the skin such as acne, burns, cuts, or certain skin treatments. The affected areas appear darker than the surrounding skin. 3. Sunspots or age spots These are also known as solar lentigens and are caused by prolonged exposure to the sun. They typically appear on areas of the skin that are frequently exposed to sunlight, such as the face, hands, shoulders, and arms. 4. Dark spots from scars When wounds or cuts heal, they can leave behind darker pigmentation in the affected area. This is particularly common in individuals with darker skin tones. Okay, so now we all know what hyperpigmentation is. Now, let's look into an amazing new treatment that can get rid of all the unsightly symptoms of this condition. The particular treatment that I want to talk about is one that gives super fast results and is called the Pico Laser. So, what is a Pico Laser? It's a type of laser technology used in dermatology and aesthetics for various skin treatments, including the treatment of hyperpigmentation, tattoo and acne scars removal and skin rejuvenation. 
The term pico refers to the pulse duration of the laser, which is measured in picoseconds. One pico is a trillionth of a second. Pico lasers deliver ultra-short pulses of energy to the skin, allowing for precise targeting of specific skin concerns. Here are some key features and benefits of Pico laser technology. 1. Speed and Precision Pico lasers generate pulses that are significantly shorter than traditional lasers. The shorter pulse duration enables faster treatment sessions and precise targeting of pigmented areas or tattoo ink particles. 2. Versatility Pico lasers can treat a wide range of skin issues, including hyperpigmentation, melasma, sunspots, freckles, mild acne scars, and certain types of tattoos. The laser energy breaks down the pigment particles or tattoo ink into smaller fragments, which are then eliminated by the body's natural processes. 3. Reduce side effects Pico lasers have been found to cause less damage to the surrounding skin compared to traditional lasers. The shorter pulse duration minimizes heat buildup, reducing the risk of side effects like post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation or prolonged recovery time. 4. Fewer sessions Due to its advanced technology, Pico lasers often require fewer treatment sessions compared to older laser systems. This can lead to quicker and more efficient results with shorter intervals between sessions. 5. Skin rejuvenation Pico laser treatments can also stimulate collagen production in the skin, leading to improved skin texture, reduced fine lines, and a more youthful and glowing appearance. 6. Minimal discomfort Pico lasers are generally well tolerated by patients and discomfort during treatment is usually minimal. Topical numbing creams may be applied to ensure a more comfortable experience. It's important to note that Pico laser treatments should be performed by trained and experienced professionals such as dermatologists or medical estheticians. They will assess your skin condition, discuss your goals, and determine if Pico laser is suitable for your specific needs. As with any medical procedure, there may be potential risks and side effects associated with Pico laser treatments. These can include temporary redness, swelling, mild bruising, or temporary lightening or darkening of the treated area. It's crucial to follow post-treatment care instructions provided by your healthcare provider and protect your skin from sun exposure during the healing process. Overall, Pico laser technology has revolutionized the field of laser skin treatments, offering faster, more precise, and versatile solutions for various skin concerns. What happens after you have a Pico laser treatment? Some people have experienced redness, swelling, and even darkening of the skin. But these effects are only temporary. Usually, after a few weeks, the skin starts to peel and the new smooth skin appears. And how should you care for your skin after the treatment? It's important to follow the post-treatment instructions to optimize the healing process and achieve the best possible results. While specific instructions may vary depending on the individual and the treated area, here are some general guidelines to follow. One. Protect the treated area from the sun. Sun protection is crucial after pico laser treatment. The skin is more susceptible to damage from ultraviolet radiation, which can cause hyperpigmentation and other complications. Apply a broad spectrum sunscreen with an SPF of 50 or higher to the treated area, and reapply as directed by your healthcare provider. Additionally, consider wearing protective clothing such as hats and sunglasses and just generally avoid excessive sun exposure. 2. Avoid picking or scratching the treated area. It's important to resist the urge to pick at any scabs, crusts, or flakes that may form after the treatment. Allow the skin to heal naturally to minimize the risk of scarring or infection. If necessary, your healthcare provider may recommend a topical ointment or moisturizer to keep the area moisturized and encourage healing. 3. Keep the treated area clean. Cleanse the treated area gently with a mild cleanser as instructed by your healthcare provider. Avoid using harsh or abrasive products that could irritate the skin. Pat the area dry with a clean soft towel or allow it to air dry. 4. Moisturize the skin. Apply a gentle moisturizer or post-treatment ointment recommended by your healthcare provider to keep the treated area hydrated. 
Moisturizing can help soothe the skin, minimize dryness, and promote healing. Avoid using heavy or perfume moisturizers that may irritate the skin. 5. Avoid strenuous activities For the first few days after treatment, it's advisable to avoid activities that may cause excessive sweating or friction on the treated area. Strenuous exercise, hot baths or showers, saunas, steam rooms, and swimming pools should be avoided during this time to reduce the risk of complications such as infections. 6. Follow any additional instructions. Your healthcare provider may provide specific post-treatment instructions tailored to your individual needs. These instructions may include the use of specific skincare products, avoiding certain activities or substances, or scheduling follow-up appointments. Be sure to adhere to these instructions for the best possible outcome. Well, I hope this information is useful for you and can help you decide whether or not to undergo a PICO laser treatment. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share your thoughts in the comments section, and subscribe. Thanks! How to get rid of hyperpigmentation 1. Use topical treatments such as hydroquinone or azelaic acid. 2. Apply vitamin C or niacinamide to brighten the skin. 3. Try chemical peels or laser treatments. 4. Sunscreen with SPF 50 plus to prevent further darkening. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe for more. A lip scrub exfoliates dry, flaky skin from the lips, creating a smooth surface for lipstick application. Helps to plump and hydrate the lips, making them appear fuller and more youthful. Increases the longevity of lipstick, preventing it from cracking or fading throughout the day. Improves the overall appearance of lips, leaving them looking soft, supple and kissable. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe for more. 1. Facial moisturizers hydrate the skin, preventing dryness and flakiness. 2. Moisturizers can reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. 3. They act as a protective barrier, shielding the skin from environmental stresses. 4. Moisturizers soothe irritated or inflamed skin. 5. They can even add skin tone, reducing the appearance of dark spots and blemishes. 6. Regular use can improve overall skin texture and leave it looking smoother and more radiant. Moisturizing hands can help prevent dryness, itching and cracking, which can lead to infections. It can help maintain the skin's natural barrier function and prevent moisture loss. Regular moisturizing can help reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It can help keep hands looking healthy and feeling soft and supple. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe for more. Prob everyone, today I'd like to talk about how to treat a skin condition an awful lot of people experience, acne. Before we get into it, I just want to ask, have you heard about Accutane? Accutane is also known by its generic name, isotretinoin. It's an acne medication in the class of retinoids. Accutane works by reducing the production of sebum, an oily substance produced by the sebaceous glands in the skin. Excessive sebum production, along with the clogging of hair follicles with dead skin cells, contributes enormously to the development of acne outbreaks. By reducing sebum production, Accutane helps to prevent the formation of new acne lesions and allows existing ones to heal. While Accutane can be highly effective in treating severe acne, it is not recommended as a first-line treatment due to its potential for serious side effects. Here are some of the most common and least severe side effects of Accutane. Back pain, chopped dry lips, dry eyes, dry nose, nosebleeds, dry skin, itching, joint pain, skin infection or rash, thinning hair. Most side effects from Accutane go away in a few days or weeks after you stop taking the drug. 
In some people, the effects lessen in the first few months of treatment, while in others they last for the duration of the treatment. However, it's very important to be aware that Accutane can have some extremely serious side effects. Birth defects and premature birth when used by pregnant women, miscarriage or infant death, depression, suicidal thoughts or behaviors, inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis. Prolonged buildup of pressure on the brain can lead to long-term vision and hearing problems. In rare cases, permanent loss of eyesight and even death have been reported. Other long-term issues from taking Accutane include erectile dysfunction, loss of libido, mental health problems, problems with bones, muscles and joints, blood sugar irregularity, and diabetes. If you experience any of these symptoms after trying Accutane, you must seek help from a healthcare professional immediately. Leaving it untreated may create a bigger and more permanent problem in the future. I'm sorry if I scared you, but it's really important to know exactly what you're getting yourself into and what the risks might be when you decide to use such powerful acne treatments. Okay, so what is a safe treatment routine you can follow? to cure and prevent acne. Before it can be effectively treated, we first have to find out what the root cause of the acne may be. Severe acne is usually caused by anyone or combinations of the following factors. 1. Hormonal changes. 2. Excessive sebum production. 3. Bacterial overgrowth and inflammation. 4. Other environmental factors. Only after we've found out what caused our severe acne in the first place can we proceed with the appropriate treatments. 1. For acne caused by hormonal changes, you should seek professional help to take care of it and change your lifestyle by adopting a healthy diet, getting regular exercise, and looking into stress management. 2. The second possibility is the most important one. How do we control excess sebum production? Excessive bone production can be controlled by taking zinc supplements and also by consuming more cruciferous vegetables such as kale, broccoli, cauliflower, and radishes. Excessive oily sebum production can be caused by the food we eat, for example, sugars and dairy products. By cutting out these foods, we can often control sebum production that can clog the pores and cause acne. Propionibacterium acnes or P. acnes is a type of bacteria that commonly resides on the skin. When hair follicles become clogged, it can lead to the overgrowth of P. acnes, triggering inflammation and the formation of severe acne lesions. The safest treatment for this is with prescription retinoids such as tretinoin or adapalene. 4. Factors like high humidity, pollution, occupational exposure to oily substances or certain skincare and cosmetic products can contribute to the severity of acne. It's best to avoid skincare and cosmetic products that have alcohol, fragrances, and any other ingredients that can clog pores. These pore clogging products are referred to as comedogenic. Here are some tips for you to help to manage oily skin and minimize the occurrence of acne. Cleanse your skin twice a day with a gentle oil-free cleanser. Use non-comedogenic products such as oil-free or water-based moisturizers, sunscreens, and makeup. Do not overwash as excessive washing can strip natural oils from the skin and this in turn leads to increased sebum production. Maintain a healthy diet including plenty of cruciferous vegetables such as broccoli, cauliflower, kale, and radishes. Avoid sugary dairy heavy and processed foods in general. Try to avoid touching your face unnecessarily. Alright everyone, I hope you found this information useful and remember, stay away from Accutane. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share your thoughts in the comment section and subscribe. Thanks! Achieve clear skin at home without spending money. 1. Do not use hot water when washing your face. Instead, use lukewarm water. Gently pat it dry with a clean towel only used on your face. 2. Instead of rubbing ice cubes on your face, put a very cold, clean towel soaked in ice water or iced rice water onto your face and leave it for a few minutes. 3. Apply a DIY face mask once a week made from plain organic yogurt mixed with manuka honey. 4. 
Change your pillowcase at least once a week and clean your mobile screen every day. They are breeding grounds for bacteria. Five, take some light exercise every day for at least 20 minutes. Drink plenty of water and get enough sleep seven to nine hours a night. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe for more. Gasha Facial Massage Tools Stimulate Blood Flow and Promote Healing Releases Muscle Tension and Improves Mobility Promotes Lymphatic Drainage and Reduces Swelling Reduces Inflammation and Removes Toxins from the Body Improves the Appearance of the Skin and Promotes Collagen Production Can be used to relieve pain and promote overall relaxation if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe for more. Here are the 5 food types that are best for keeping skin healthy, glowing and free of pimples and acne. 1. Fatty fish, rich in omega-3 fatty acids to reduce inflammation. 2. Leafy green vegetables, high in vitamins A, C, and E for healthy skin. 3. Berries, antioxidant rich to protect skin from environmental factors. 4. Nuts and seeds, vitamin E to protect skin from free radicals. 5. Citrus fruits, high in vitamin C for collagen production and healthy skin. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe for more. Hi everyone! We all know that skincare is crucial to maintaining our beauty. But have you ever wondered how celebs keep themselves looking so good? Celeb skin is a big deal. We pay attention when they rave about their skincare. Why? It's a celeb requirement to have a glowing complexion. They have good genes, solid routines, and insider tips from pros. We've dug into their product preferences, from Jennifer Aniston's affordable moisturizer to Nicole Kidman's favorite sunscreen. Discover these worth it skincare secrets, often inexpensive for a radiant glow like Halle Berry's. Nicole Kidman's doable routine keeps her skin moisturized and plump. Here are her favorite daytime products. To cleanse her skin, Nicole starts her day with a scrubby exfoliating cleanser from Ceralabs, a CBD-infused skincare brand that maintains the skin's moisture levels. C follows up with the Sarah Lab Radiant Face and Neck Serum, her current favorite. This serum hydrates the skin and reduces fine lines and wrinkles. For locking in moisture, Nicole opts for Creme de la Mer or Aquaphor, both effective choices for dry skin. Being an outdoor enthusiast, Nicole uses Neutrogena Sheer Zinc Face Mineral Sunscreen with SPF 50. She reapplies it regularly to shield her skin from the sun and avoid hyperpigmentation. Nicole's go-to products Ceralabs Radiant Face and Neck Serum, available at Ceralabs website. This non-greasy serum provides a natural glow and is suitable for dry skin. Aqua for a cult favorite. This budget-friendly gem is loved by the rich and famous. It's a great addition to any skincare routine. Neutrogena Sheer Zinc Face Sunscreen, available at Amazon website. This SPF 50 sunscreen is a must-have for outdoor activities and hyperpigmentation avoidance. Salma Hayek keeps her skincare routine simple and avoids treatments like Botox. Here's what she does. Salma skips morning cleansing based on her grandma's wisdom. She believes the skin replenishes overnight and sees no need to cleanse in the morning. Instead, she sprays her face with rose water for a refreshing wake up. It's gentle and hydrating. Salma loves Tepes Cohiti, an ingredient from the bark of a Mexican tree known for its regenerative properties. 
For her lip treatment, she always carries Sizely Paris Lip Balm, a highly rated product packed with shea butter to nourish and plump parched lips. Salma's recommended products The Balance Way Rose Water at Amazon. This pure rose water is alcohol free, making it a valuable addition to any skincare routine. ASDM Beverly Hills Tepes Cohiti Moisturizers at ASDM website. This cream is versatile, providing relief for irritated skin and working well as an aftershave moisturizer. Sizely Paris Nutritive Lip Balm at Amazon. This luxurious lip balm contains hazelnut and plum to combat dryness and strengthen the skin barrier, reviving even the dry lips. Kate swears by a few products that have kept her complexion radiant for over a decade. I found something that works for me and I've stuck with it, she explained. Her skin is stronger now thanks to these go-to items. Kate also religiously follows a strict SPF routine she's had since childhood. With that dedication, it's no surprise she looks this good. Kate starts with SK2's Essence, a staple she's used for 15 plus years. This Japanese gem gives her skin such a boost that she skips foundation. At night, she uses Dermalogica's daily microfolian to remove that skin. You can't solve a problem without removing the top layer, she says. Continuing with SK2, she follows up with their ultimate revival serum to even out her skin tone and add a luminous glow. For moisturizer, she chooses Armani Beauty's Cremonera Extrema Supreme Reviving Cream, ideal for all skin types and weather conditions. Kate stresses the importance of sun protection. She has used Daylong Extreme SPF 50 since childhood. SK2 Facial Treatment Essence, available at Amazon, rave reviews despite the high price. Dermalogica Daily Microfolian, available at dermalogica.co.uk, a household name for problem skin, smoothing, and refining texture. Armani Beauty Crema Nera Extrema Supreme Reviving Cream, available at armanibeauty.co.uk, tackles dehydrated skin while illuminating and brightening. Kate's choices are worth considering for a radiant complexion. We all want that Jennifer Aniston glow, and she spilled her skincare secrets. Here's what you need to know. To cleanse her skin, Jen keeps it simple with soap and water to wake up her skin. She opts for an affordable Aveeno moisturizer with SPF for easy and quick application. Jen loves collagen peptides for a healthy glow from within. Jennifer's favorite products, Dose & Co. Unflavored Marine Collagen Peptides at doseandco.com. You can boost your collagen with this versatile supplement. Avino Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer with SPF 30 at Amazon. This moisturizer is soothing, hydrating, and protective. Drunk Elephant Peaky Bar at Amazon, a luxurious and gentle soap bar for cleansing. Now you too can achieve that Aniston glow. Halle Berry's flawless skin may seem unattainable, but her routine is actually quite doable. Here's what she does. Halle uses Olga Lorenzen Rehydrating Cleanser with a Philips cleansing brush, emphasizing the importance of cleansing morning and night. She loves the Ole Henriksen Pore Balance Facial Sauna Scrub with its refreshing eucalyptus scent. Halle swears by the skin SkinCeuticals Hydrating B5 Mask, generously applying it for a refreshing boost. She finishes with a Lactic Acid Serum to refill fresh skin. Halle's favorite products, Philips Faisa Pure Mini Facial Cleansing Brush at Amazon, deeply cleans with this powerful brush. Ole Henriksen Pore Balance Facial Sauna Scrub at Boots.com this scrub is refreshing and comforting. It adds warmth to your routine. SkinCeuticals Hydrating B5 Mask at Amazon. You can achieve soft, plum, and dewy skin with this ultra-quenching mask. Try Halle's skincare picks for a radiant complexion. I hope this glimpse into the beauty routines of five gorgeous celebs has been interesting for you. Let us know in the comments what routine you follow to achieve a glowing complexion. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks! See you in my next video. Using a face massage roller enhances absorption of skincare products into the skin.
stimulate circulation and lymphatic drainage, which can reduce puffiness and improve skin tone. Provides a relaxing and soothing sensation. Can help to alleviate muscle tension and promote facial muscle relaxation. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe for more. Using a face scrub exfoliates dead skin cells, promoting cell turnover for a brighter complexion. Unclogs pores, reducing the appearance of blackheads and acne. Increases blood flow and circulation, giving the skin a healthy glow. Improves product absorption, allowing moisturizers and serums to penetrate deeper into the skin. Smooths skin texture, creating a smoother surface for makeup application. A face sheet mask is pre-cut and pre-soaked in a concentrated serum, making it more convenient to use than traditional masks that require preparation. The sheet mask fits closely to the contours of the face, allowing the serum to penetrate more deeply and effectively than traditional masks. Sheet masks often contain a variety of nourishing ingredients such as hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, and collagen, which can provide a more intense and targeted treatment for specific skin concerns. Sheet masks are typically single-use and disposable, making them more hygienic than reusable traditional masks that can accumulate bacteria over time. How to Prevent Facial Fat Loss 1. Eat a balanced diet, include foods rich in antioxidants and healthy fats. 2. Exercise regularly to maintain muscle tone and skin elasticity. 3. Get enough sleep, aim for 7 to 9 hours of sleep each night. 4. Manage stress, stress can cause hormonal imbalances that affect facial fat. 5. Avoid crash diets, rapid weight loss can cause facial fat loss. 6. Use retinoids. Topical retinoids can improve skin texture and thickness. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe for more. Hi everyone! In today's video, I wanted to talk about a fantastic treatment option for acne scars and skin tightening, laser treatment. Specifically, I'll be focusing on the CO2 or carbon dioxide laser, which has been widely used in medical and cosmetic procedures to address these skin concerns. So, how does CO2 laser treatment work? Well, this type of laser emits a concentrated beam of light at a specific wavelength that corresponds to the CO2 molecule's vibrational frequency. Sounds very techy, but it's a pretty simple principle really. When it comes to clearing acne scars and wrinkles, CO2 laser treatment uses this energy to remove the damaged outer layers of the skin in a controlled manner. As the laser's high-energy light is absorbed by water molecules in the skin, the targeted tissue vaporizes, effectively resurfacing the skin. This process also stimulates the production of new collagen, promoting skin regeneration. CO2 laser treatment for acne scars can be done in two main ways, fractionated and fully ablated. Okay, those terms need some explanation. Fractionated treatment creates small laser beams that target only a fraction of the skin, leaving the surrounding areas intact. This allows for faster healing and reduces recovery time. On the other hand, fully ablative treatment removes the entire surface layer of the skin, providing more extensive resurfacing, but with a longer recovery period. By removing the damaged outer layers of the skin, CO2 laser treatment offers several benefits for improving the appearance of acne scars. First, it smooths the skin texture, getting rid of the roughness and unevenness caused by scarring. Additionally, the laser's heat penetrates the deeper layers of the skin, stimulating collagen production. Collagen is a protein that provides structural support to the skin, helping to plumb and smooth out acne scars. Lastly, the controlled injury caused by the laser triggers the body's natural healing response, resulting in the formation of new, healthier skin cells that replace the scarred and pockmarked surface of the skin. But that's not all. CO2 laser treatment is also an effective option for skin rejuvenation and addressing wrinkles and target sagging skin. 
the process is quite similar to its use for acne scars. The laser targets and removes the outer layers of the skin, which stimulates collagen production and promotes skin regeneration. Similar to treating acne scars, the controlled injury caused by the laser also prompts the body's healing response. This leads to the formation of new skin cells and additional collagen and elastin fibers. The end result is smoother, tighter, and more youthful looking skin. Depending on the extent of the treatment and your pain tolerance, the doctor may apply a topical numbing cream or administer local anesthesia to ensure your comfort during the procedure. This step helps minimize any potential discomfort or pain. After your CO2 laser treatment, taking proper care of your skin is crucial for optimal healing and the best results. Here are some essential guidelines to keep in mind. Follow your doctor's instructions. Keep the treated area clean. Apply prescribed ointments or creams. Protect your skin from the sun. Resist the urge to pick or scratch. Avoid harsh skincare products for a certain period after the treatment. Treat your skin gently. Stay hydrated. Attend follow-up appointments. Remember, everyone's healing process is unique. So it's important to consult your healthcare provider for personalized post-care instructions to ensure the best possible results from your CO2 laser treatment. It's important to keep in mind that the results of CO2 laser treatment for acne scars and wrinkles are not immediate. The skin needs time to heal and for new collagen to form. Generally, you can expect to see gradual improvements over several weeks to months as the skin continues to regenerate and remodel. The timeline for results can vary based on factors such as the depth of wrinkles, the intensity of the treatment, and individual healing processes. The results of CO2 laser treatment can last for several years, but it's important to take good care of your skin to maintain them. How you treat your skin with skincare products, your sun exposure, exercise, and nutrition can all play a role in the longevity of the results. Lastly, it's crucial to emphasize that CO2 laser treatment for acne scars and wrinkles is a medical procedure that should be performed by a qualified dermatologist or plastic surgeon. The treatment plan and laser intensity will depend on the severity of the acne scars and individual factors. So, make sure to consult with a medical professional who can assess your specific condition and determine the most suitable approach for your goals. I hope this discussion on CO2 laser treatment for acne scars and skin tightening has been informative and helpful. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out. Remember, taking care of your skin is essential and with the right treatment, you can achieve a smoother, rejuvenated complexion. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in my next video. Thanks! Have you heard about Accutane? While Accutane can be highly effective in treating severe acne, it is not recommended as a first-line treatment due to its potential for serious side effects. Here are some of the most common and least severe side effects of Accutane. Back pain, chopped dry lips, dry eyes, dry nose, nosebleeds, dry skin, itching, joint pain, skin infection or rash, thinning hair. I'm sorry if I scared you, but it's really important to know exactly what you're getting yourself into and what the risks might be when you decide to use such power.